Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to solve proof that questions in trigonometry. So this question has come as a request from one of our Enjoy Math viewers. So we have to prove that 1 plus tan square a plus 1 plus 1 by tan square a is equal to 1 upon sine square a minus sine raised to 4a. So friends, in prove that questions, we usually start with either the left hand side and prove that it's equal to the right hand side or we start from the right hand side and show that it's equal to the left hand side. So the very first step is to decide which side do we start with. So usually we start with that side which has more number of terms, which is more complex so that we have more scope of simplification, right? So which side do you think we should start with? Yes, we should start with the left hand side. It's more complex. So let me just copy the left hand side. So here is the left hand side. Now the second step is to carefully observe what we have and what we have to prove. Now what we have is 1 plus tan square a. There is also 1 by tan square a. But what we have to prove is 1 by sin square a and there is even a sine raised to 4a. So there is not much in common between what we have and what we have to prove. So somehow we have to do it. So friends it's important to see what you have to prove because if you you don't know what you have to prove how will you be able to prove it right so always keep in mind what you have to prove okay now the third step is make use of all these trigonometric identities the formula and try to arrive at the right hand side okay so friends let's see we have 1 plus tan square a now is there any identity that will help us what do you think Yes, did you see here? Sec square a is 1 plus tan square a. That's great. So can I write here 1 plus tan square a as sec square a? Yes, okay. Then there is a plus and uh, this is 1 plus. Now 1 by tan square a. Okay, now friends, did you see here? It's written that cot a is 1 by tan a. So what is 1 by tan square a? Cot square a. Let's try it out. Let's see uh, what happens. And make sure that you write the identities and the formula that you have used in every step. Okay. Now we have sec square a and 1 plus cot square a. Again, what we need to prove, always keep checking. This is what you should have in mind. Okay. Now 1 plus cot square a. Is there any identity? Yes. See here, cosec square a is 1 plus cot square a. Wow, that's great. So now I can write sec square a. I'll keep it as it is. And this whole thing, I'll replace it as cos x square a. Make sure you write the reason. Now again, let's see what we want. We want 1 upon sin square a minus sin raised to 4a. Here I do have sec square and cos x square, but there is no fraction over here friends like this. So what do I do for that? Well, what is sec a? Now sec a is 1 by cos a, cos a is 1 by sin a. So let me try and substitute those formula so that I can introduce fractions. Okay, so now I'll write sec sec square a as 1 by cos square a okay and this as 1 by sin square a okay just write the reason over here so with this what i have achieved i've got the fractions to my side okay now again this is one fraction did you observe here whereas here i have two fractions but because the denominators are different i cannot add them directly what do i need to do Yes, LCM. So let me take the LCM over here. What will be the LCM? Yes, cos square a into sin square a. Now because this is cos square a, what will come here? Yes, sin square a. I hope you got it. And here it's sin square a. So what will come in the numerator? Cos square a. Okay friends. Now again let me observe what more can I do. Now here I have sin square a plus cos square a and what is that? Direct identity is there. So now I can write this is 1 by cos square a into sin square a. Wow did you see now we are coming very close to our RHS. See the only thing I see is there is a cos square here we have. Here there is no cos at all. So now my next aim is how to get rid of this cos, right? Can you tell me what should we do? Exactly, we should try to substitute cos square a as 1 minus sin square a. So let me just continue over here. So cos square a, I will write as 1 minus sin square a into what is over here? Yes, sin square a. Okay friends, I hope you are getting it. Now let me just open up the brackets. That's all that I can do. So here I'll get sin square a minus sin raised to 4a. Wow, did you see? 
we have got the right hand side that's it very easily we have been able to prove this so friends i hope you understood how to solve this question if you found this video useful do like and share consider subscribing to enjoy math and if you have any other questions doubts or any feedback please do let me know in the comment section below so till we meet again take care